Today we're going to talk about the pen tool. We're going to really dive into the pen tool and figure out how it works and how you can use it when you are doing your own drawings and designs. To start out, let's just talk about the pen tool. If you want to do a shortcut for the pen tool, you can use the key P. Let's just zoom into this little sidebar here, right here in the gray area. We're not going to worry about our actual design at the moment. So remember that whenever you start using the pen tool, usually you'll end up with the fill and the stroke being turned on. The default here in your color picker is white for the fill and black for the stroke. That can be changed easy enough by double clicking and changing it, or if you don't want it to have it at all, remember that you can use this little red line, and you can change the color of the stroke in the same way. I'm gonna change it to something really bright so that I can see it on this, this um, gray area here that we're working on. What we're working on here are straight lines Remember that you can achieve straight lines just by clicking the mouse. If I press enter, then that ends this line. Remember that you can do curves by clicking and dragging. And that what we've created here are lines. And even if I take my mouse and I put it all the way over to the edge where I began, it is not a shape until I end it by hovering over that first point and clicking. Now this is a shape. You don't have to use the pen tool to make a shape. There is a shape tool and there are options inside the shape tool we've talked about before. Click and drag to make a shape and that's a totally viable option for making shapes. If you wanted to use your pen tool to create shapes, these little guides are very helpful when you're making geometric shapes. I can click and go however far I want my shape to go and click. This green line is what helps me keep it aligned and I could even align it with other shapes too. So I know that it's gonna be aligned with the line that I created and the shape that I created before too. And again, I could come right here and click, and I know that if I click right here, I will make this shape. This is not a shape until I complete it. Even if I turn on the fill, this is not a shape until I complete it by clicking right here. And then you can see the shape that I created. The pen tool has several options within it. There's the regular pen tool, there's the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and the convert anchor point tool. And over here on the side you see the shortcut for each. So if I press P, I will get the pen tool. If I press plus, I will get the add anchor point. If I press minus, I'll get the delete anchor point. And if I click shift C, I'll get the convert anchor point. And don't worry about what these mean. We are gonna talk about each one of these in turn. So starting with the add anchor point, this will allow me to add anchors. Remember that when you're working with the pen tool, you have what are called anchors, and these anchors will allow you to control the shape. If I were to decide that I did not want an anchor in here, for example, if I get the delete anchor point and I delete an anchor, you can see what happens. 
Now let's say that I wanted to have some kind of curve. I might grab my convert anchor point tool and take a look here at what happens when I click and drag. And that allows me to have a point. So we went over adding an anchor point, deleting an anchor point, and converting. These things can be done while you're working too. And we're going to talk about that more extensively when we do our little activity today. But just to explain, this is where these tools or these keys come in handy. So let's say I have my regular pen tool and I'm working along and I decide that I want to add an anchor point here. I could press the plus button, but notice how the pen tool already has that little plus icon next to it. That means that it is going to add an anchor there. And notice that when I hover over an anchor, you have the minus sign. So I can delete anchors as well. And if I hold down shift and C, it'll allow me to convert my anchors too. This has changed my whole pen tool to the convert anchor tool. There are other things that will be helpful for you when you're working. For example, right now I have created a new pen tool selection. And if I wanted to go back to this one, I'm going to undo that. All I need to do is click and hold here and now I'll be able to continue. If I hold down the shift key as I am starting a new line, it's going to lock that handle at a 45 or 90 degree angle so I can control my new points with this shift tool. If I hold down alt, then I can change the direction of my handle. Remember that when you're working, whatever direction the handle is going in, that's the direction that the line is going to go. So for example, if my handle is going up, then my next line is going to be going up, no matter where I put my pen tool. So if I try to go down here, notice how that line starts going up. That's because my handle was pointed up. So if I don't want it to go up, I can hold down Alt and drag it down and I can get it to move where I want it to. If I hold down Command, then I can move both handles and that'll make it a little bit more smooth. So if I hold down Alt, it controls one handle and if I hold down command, then it controls both of the handles. The last thing I want to go over before we start working on our shape is that when you're working with a vector, we are drawing shapes and lines in Illustrator, which means that these are all going to be vector shapes and lines. That means that however far that I zoom in, I will never get distorted or pixelated. But this shape over here, this is an image. Notice how when I zoom in here, you can see the individual pixels in which this image is made up of. This is called a bitmap. So again, the difference is that this image is made up of a lot of tiny little boxes, whereas these, are not made up of tiny boxes. They are made up of a mathematical equation that I am not going to explain to you, but you can just know that they will never get distorted no matter how close you zoom in.